Hello and welcome to another episode of I went out grocery shopping and I came back home with two rotary hammer drills. First up, we've got the 12 volt park side and we've got the 20 volt park side performance. It's going to be four amp batteries for each. On the performance version, you get drilling mode, drilling mode plus hammer mode, and just hammer mode. On the 12 volt version, you get drilling mode, hammer plus drilling. This is a single speed, this is a two speed. Let's check the RPM. Speed one, drilling, on forward speed two let's see the single speed on the 12 volt drilling mode single speed on the 12 volt noise test Speed 2 on this, let's put it into hammer mode, let's put this one into hammer mode as well. Let's have a look at the weight, you're going to be using it with the handle and the battery, so with that it's about 3.5 kilos, 12 volt around half that at 1.5 kilos. Here you get a handle, a couple of SDS drills and some grease. On the 12 volt, you get the tool, a couple of SDS drill bits, a chuck for regular drills, two wood drills and a couple of fits. Both tools will be tested with brand new 8mm SDS concrete drill bits. Of course, they were the cheapest ones I could find. 12 volt hammer mode, full battery. 20 volt is going to be speed one to begin with. Full battery, hammer mode. Block of concrete. Twenty volt performance version, speed one. So let's give it a go on speed two. So the 12 volt drill does not have a specific hammer only mode. So what 
Brass 20 volt performance version does have a dedicated hammer bar. And by the way, this is the C3 version made by Grizzly Tools. Meaning that you can get to do this. Or if you feel like it, you can even do this. Whereas with the 12 volt, the only thing that's going to happen with this attachment is... So now let's say that you're in a tricky situation. You've got only a rotary hammer drill and you need to put a couple of holes into a piece of wood. What you need is an SDS into a standard chuck adapter and then you can put whatever you want onto the end of it. So, drilling mode, let's see what happens. Pretty easy work for this one. Mode 2, 20 volt performance version with the spade bit at the front. Let's try a different sort. 30. I wouldn't say that was comfortable for this one. Okay, let's try the 20 volts. Speed two again, truly. And finally, the question that absolutely no one has been asking, how difficult would it be to drive a screw with one of these rotary hammer drills? So it's going to be on drilling mode. We speed one to begin with. Let's try speed two. It's quite heavy for the job, but it does it really good actually. Let's see how they handle this drill bit. I would say the 12 volt is not a fan. It doesn't like it. Let's see if the 20 volt can finish the job. <laughs> 